us what is your recipe for a successful life and explain why. My recipe for a successful life is to never compare yourself to other people because through doing so, you put yourself down. You are only as insignificant as you choose to be, so choose to be great and know that you are worthy of the crown and any other accomplishment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Give it a number Thank you very team. much, Ariana. Next we have candidate number 19, Dynasty Riley. Destiny Riley. How's that be? How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. There you go. Please pick a judge to ask your question. Oh, that's judge number 10. There you go. Hi, Destiny. Um, what, if anything, can women learn from men? If anything that women can learn from men, I would think it would be something that would do with sports. I learn, I've learned a lot. I enjoy sports. Um, I enjoy to watch them now. I enjoy to play them. I enjoy everything about them now. Um, I have been in to every kind of sport you can think of, football, basketball, um, and that's about it. Thank you. Thank you, Destiny. Next we have candidate number 14, Jeremy Deezer. Okay. Nice to have you up here, Hi. Jeremy. You're beautiful. Who's with you tonight? I have my whole family. Team goes in over there. there you go. My friends. Team Jeremy over there. All right, Jeremy, go ahead now. Let's pick a number. Judge number two, please. Hi, Jeremy. Hello. If 20 years from now, you could be world famous for one thing, what, it, what would it be and why? If I could be famous, be known for being famous in the next 20 years, I would like to be famous for being a role model, for being positive. And I would like to be known for that because I like to spread positivity to everything because it just makes life better. Because if you surround yourself with negativity, then your life goes down. So if you surround yourself with nothing but positivity, then you can go nowhere but up. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next we have candidate number 17, Hannah Diamond. Hannah Diamond. There you go. Hello, Hanadi. What a beautiful name, no? Hanadi, how are you doing tonight? I'm good. Good. Let's go ahead and pick. Maggie's the judge for her question. Here you go. All right. Number eight. Judge number eight. who have had cosmetic surgery should be allowed to compete in pageants, in beauty pageants. Yes, I do. I think everyone has their own um, their own um, chance to join, uh, be, you know, beauty Filipinas or any beauty pageant to represent themselves and to um, show what they what they got. It's not just because, like, you know, they got plastic surgery. So I think like they should they should join and just really represent themselves and show them show what they got. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Who we, we got next there? Uh, we have candidate number twelve, Hannah Martin. Anna Martin. Wow. Hi Hannah, how are you tonight? I am surprised and happy that I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I can see you're surprised. There you go. Well, okay, please. Anna? Go ahead and uh, reach in for a number. Okay. 
Judge number one. Judge number one. And we know who that is, right, folks? <laughs> Hannah, what would you say to someone who thought they were not pretty enough to enter a pageant? I would tell that person that you are beautiful, whoever you are and whatever you are. You are beautiful in your own way. You can, you're, you're just beautiful yourself, and that what, that's what makes you beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you, Hannah. It's so cute. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. There you go. Next, we have candidate number three, Jessica Marasigan. Jessica Marasigan. Hi, Jessica. How are you doing tonight? I feel very blessed, and I feel great to be here standing before all of you. Well, you're looking great tonight, Jessica. Thank you. Let's go ahead and pick your number. Let's judge number nine, actually. Judge number nine. <laughs> Good evening, Jessica. Good evening. If you were given one million dollars today, how would you spend it and why? Thank you for that wonderful question. If I was given one million dollars today, I would give it to all the homeless people, to my family, and to my friends that have supported me throughout today. I would also give it to the homeless people because I believe that they deserve everything and anything in this world, especially because how they are and who they are and how they, what they, thank you. Thank you. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you, candidate number three. Very kind-hearted. Yeah. There you go. Next we have candidate number six, Kyla Nadris. We're moving on to Kyla Nadris. Hello, Kyla. Hello. Hello. What's up? I'm great. How are You're you? You're doing good. Okay. Here's the bowl. Pick a number and judge go to number, judge 11. number eleven. All right, hello. Hello. If you could meet any known figure in human history, living or dead, who would it be and why? Thank you for that question. If I could be anyone from history, living today or is dead. I would be Michelle Obama. I choose her because I feel like we share the same beliefs and I would like to see through her eyes the country's strength, triumphs, challenges, and trials. And most importantly, I feel like we share the same beliefs by no matter what race, class, or culture, we are all equal in the eyes of God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kyla. Kyla wow. Next, we have candidate number 11, Melissa Rodriguez. Melissa Rodriguez. Come on down here. Gorgeous. You're looking gorgeous. Thank you so much. You're okay. looking great yourself. Are you ready for your question? I am. Let's yes. go ahead and pick your number right now. There you go. <laughs> Check number four. Magazine, I would be on the cover of Time Magazine because I would hope that because I was on Time Magazine, I was doing something wonderful for the world and something very inspiring for other people that I would be honored enough to be a part of that magazine. Thank you. Okay. Time Magazine it is. Okay. We have candidate number 20, Precious Martinez. Candidate number 20, let's have you down here, Precious. Hi, Precious. And Who indeed, you look Precious. Thank you so much. Oh, so do you. you. I want to say hi to all my friends and family here tonight. Thank you. OK, 
Okay, practice. Go ahead and get a number, and let's see which judge will ask your question. Judge number five. Judge number five. Hello, Precious. Hello, how are you? Great. Um, okay, here you go. Other than your physical appearance, what do you like most about yourself and why? Thank you for that wonderful question. Other than my physical appearance, what I like most about myself is I have the drive. I have the drive to accomplish something big in my life, to make a difference to younger individuals, to be more aware of their future. And I believe that's what, rather than my physical appearance, I believe that's one thing that's, uh, that I love about myself. Thank you. Thank you, Precious. Thank you, Precious. Next we have candidate number nine, Riza Blendias. Riza stunning in red. How are you feeling? I'm feeling well. I'm very honored um, to be here, and I just want to say happy birthday, Dad. I love you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to your daddy. Wow. Go ahead, Riza. That's okay. And Riza has picked judge number three. Hi. What, if any, is the one personality trait you change about yourself, and why? I actually wouldn't change any personality about myself. I'm really bubbly, I'm energetic, I'm very positive. I learned that from my dad, and I use that as a positive aspect to make sure that I inspire other people to do great things. Thank you very much. There you go. Wow, they were all great. Thank you so much and Amazing. thank you to our judges. Congratulations once again to our candidates. Judges, thank you also. I definitely do not envy what you have to do this evening. So please go ahead and make your final tabulation. The crown of